Oh, now. Oh, no jingle. Oh, oh, okay. Um, hello, boys and girls. Have you ever heard your parents talking about this man, John Stott? You might think, who on earth is John Stott? Well, Anna and I have been reading this book and we have a few stories to tell you. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm John Stott. Cut! I'm John Stott. No, cut! Oh, that's me old. I'm... Cut, cut, cut! Can someone get her agent on the phone, please? Wait, wait, Anna, Anna. Anna, this isn't working. Let's just show the boys and girls a photo. This is John Stott. And here he is as a little boy. He was born a hundred years ago in 1921 and lived on Harley Street with his mum, dad and two sisters. Here is All Souls. Here is Harley Street. John's dad was a very good doctor. All the best doctors in the country would work on Harley Street. John's mum and dad were wealthy and he had a nanny who looked after him and his two sisters called Nanny Golden. She took them to Regent's Park where they saw lots of animals. John grew up to really love animals, especially birds. Nanny Golden was a Christian and so on Sunday she took them to All Souls. They would sit at the front on the balcony and during the prayers when everyone's eyes were shut, John and his sister would search their pockets for scraps of paper, screw them up into balls and drop them over the balcony onto the hats of unsuspecting ladies below. Amen. On Sunday afternoons, they went to the All Souls Sunday School. John was never well behaved and was sent out of the classroom for bad behaviour soon after the lesson started. He had toy daggers stuck into his socks and had a fake gun to scare the girls. His Sunday school teachers probably despaired of him. John went off to boarding school. As a teenager, John thought a lot about faith. He wanted to know God, but he didn't know how. He made friends with a boy at school who took him along to a talk by a man called Bash. John asked Bash lots of questions and he found out that everyone sins and that sin separates us from God. But through Jesus, we can be forgiven and part of God's family. That night, John gave his life to Jesus. John decided to become a vicar and when he was 29 he started working at All Souls. All around him was lots of wealth but also extreme poverty. After World War II people were without jobs and housing and many lived on the street. John Stott grew up in a very wealthy family who had lots of comforts and good things but from a young age he was very aware of people who had a lot less than him. He wanted to give support to these poor people, so rather than visit his family at Christmas time, he delivered food parcels to 70 local families in need. John's concern for the poor was increased by his faith. Jesus gave his followers two commandments, to love God and to love your neighbour, those living around you, as yourself. John wanted to follow Jesus' commands. He saw those living in poverty around him and he wanted to love them. One day in October, he wanted to know more of what it was like to be homeless, to have no one really care. So without telling anyone, he walked down to Charing Cross Bridge where several homeless men and women slept. There were no blankets or beds available, only newspaper to try and keep warm. And John hadn't thought to bring any. So he made himself as comfortable as possible but he didn't sleep much. He spent two cold and hungry nights on the street. But this experience spurred him on to love the poor and try and provide for them. And this is something that's still really important to the work of All Souls today. Later on, a charity was set up to help the homeless around All Souls called Aslan, which is still running today. John knew that following Jesus meant loving those that other people would overlook. As we've learned from Dr Luke, Jesus came to seek and save the lost. As followers of Jesus, we should love the lost too. You could pray with your parents about a homeless person that you pass by, 
Or you could pray for the work that Aslan does with the homeless. And one day when you're older, you could join in too. How could you raise money to help the poor in our city? Let's pray. Dear Father God, thank you for the life of John Stott and all that we can learn from him. And thank you for Jesus' two great commandments, to love God and to love our neighbour as ourselves. Please help us to have the love for the lost as Jesus does. Amen. Yeah.